Then you're going to learn how to move an object from his position to another object position. Let me delete everything, go to Geometry Nodes. You will see that it's really easy. Let me close this and create a new profile. So I'm going to create another object and I'm going to put it here. So I want this object to move from here to here. First, let's bring this node information. And basically, we want to move this cube. So we need to put a set position. Shift A, set position. And we are going to play with the offset. So we can say, hey, can you go here in this position? To do that, we can do actually is to get the position of this object and connect it to offset. And now when we move this object, always will be attached the cube. Because what we did is to say, always be in the location of this object. Okay, but how we do to make a transition from here to here? For this, we need a mix vector. So now this node allows you to change from one position to another position. And with this, you can make this animation. If something is connected to A, then when this is really close to this, we are saying use this vector. However, if we push this to the other side, we are saying use this information. Now it's 0, 0, 0, so that's why the cube is here. And if we move this and put it like that, you can see how we can make an object to be animated from one position to another. Actually, what we can do is to create another object, for example, a cone, and use it as position two. So now this cube is moving from one position to another. And whenever you move an object, it's updating the position. To animate this, just select one side, click Insert Keyframe, and go forward and change this, and create a new keyframe. And if we select the cube inside this, we can see the keyframes, and if we press play, we have this animation. Whenever you move this, it's going to be updated. If you don't want to see objects, what you can do is to use empties. We direct this and we change that. So now it's using an empty object.